Now, at the moment, customers are advertising ISP routes through them. So as an example, ISP Router 7 is learning about routes that originate in this autonomous system or even this autonomous system from this customer autonomous system. You as a customer don't want to become a transit autonomous system. In other words, you don't want other people's traffic sent through your autonomous system. So if we look at BGP, we have these route maps configured and we're doing some manipulation on routes such as setting the autonomous system number, but we are not blocking advertisements through the autonomous system. So on ISP router seven, for example, we are learning about this network which originated in this autonomous system from 8.1.12.2, which is correct. But we're also learning about this prefix, which originated here. Notice originated in autonomous system 65,000 from 8.1.12.2, in other words, customer router three. Notice the prepending of the AS number on that route. So that's not good. We are also learning as an example about 8150 from the customer autonomous system. This route originated in autonomous system number 65001. So it's possible that ISP router 7 sends traffic to this network through or via the customer autonomous system. That's not something we want as a customer. So on the customer router, I'm going to create an AS path access list. And I'll pick a number here, one. And I'll only permit routes that originate in the autonomous system. In other words, the AS path is blank. This means beginning of line, this means end of line, or beginning of AS path length, end of AS path length. Show IP BGP the only routes that will match that access list are routes that originated in the local autonomous system. In other words, the AS path is empty. Notice this last route, AS path is empty here. All of the other routes have an autonomous system path that includes at least one autonomous system number. So the only one that will be permitted is this network or prefix 17120. So show run pipe begin BGP. On the BGP neighbors, we have a various route maps. So I'll actually do that by section. What I'm gonna do is add that autonomous system path access list to the route maps on the three neighbors. So again, begin BGP, here are the three route maps. So as an example, select this one, but I'm gonna match AS path one, the AS path access list that we created. Then I'll do the same for this one. So rather than matching all routes, we are only going to permit routes that match the AS path access list. So again, show run, begin BGP. Here's our autonomous system path access list. I've added that to each route map. So as an example, this is for the route map applied to neighbor 81121, which is ISP7. We are only going to permit routes that originated in our autonomous system, and then we're going to set AS path prepending. So I'll clear the BGP neighbor relationships. On ISP router seven, previously we saw stuff like this. Show IP BGP. Notice we see AS path prepending on the routes that originated in this autonomous system, but we don't see 81122 as a next hop for network 17110, and we don't see that for any of the other routes. We have essentially stopped this router from advertising routes through the AS. The same will be true on ISP router two. So show IP BGP. 
we see these routes being advertised by customer router three over there, but we don't see that as a next hop for any of the other routes. In other words, this ISP will not try and get to this ISP through this customer. Now we've done that on one side, we need to do something similar on the other side. In other words, on the other customer network. This autonomous system has two routers. So let's start with customer router five first. Customer router five is setting local preference inbound to ISP router six but it's not limiting traffic outbound to that neighbor. So router BGP 65,000 neighbor 8192 route map only permit local out. Route map only permit local match AS path one, IP, AS path, access list one, permit, carrot, dollar. Clear IP BGP star soft. So on ISP router six, show IP BGP. We are learning about this network from 8191 but we are not seeing that as a next hop for any other routes. In other words, customer router five is only advertising this network, which is correct. So we should still be able to ping 17111, but we won't be using this as a transit. Let's have a look at ISP router one at the top here. Show IP BGP. This network, is originating in autonomous system number 65004, but we see 8111 as the next hop. So again, advertisements from this autonomous system are being advertised through the customer network. So in customer router two, show run pipe begin BGP. We are setting prepending on our outbound neighbor relationships. So we can leverage this route map. So route map AS prepend match AS path one IP AS path access list one permit carrot dollar. Clear IP BGP star soft. Go back to ISP router one. ISP router one previously saw 8.1.1.1.1 as the next hop for multiple routes, including routes that didn't originate in that autonomous system. Show IPBGP now, notice 8.1.1.1 is only seen as a next hop for 17.1.1.0. We've stopped this autonomous system from becoming a transit autonomous system. Let's prove that things still work. So can we get from customer router one to customer router four? Yes, we can. Traffic is going out through customer router five, which is expected. And it's going in to this autonomous system from ISP router five, which is also correct. In the reverse direction, can customer router four get to 17111? Yes, it can. Traffic is going out to ISP router five, which is correct. And it's going into this autonomous system using customer five over here, which is also correct. So I'm happy with that. We've completed all the tasks in this lab. And I've also shown you some additional tips and tricks to help you optimize BGP. This again was a very complex lab, but hopefully you've learned a lot about BGP by following me complete this lab.